Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, I'm going to say this. I think we better pace ourselves uh, today, okay? We come into the read with the king of coins. Okay, I pulled the seven of coins, happened to be the card behind it, because I want to show you something here, okay? And we've got the hermit crossed by the nine of swords. And our outbound card is the Knight of Wands. Okay, I also pulled an energy card today. They all very much go together. Okay, I think what you're doing is you may want to pace yourself a little bit. Okay, and uh, I think that that's going to help with clarity in, in thinking too. But what I think is happening here is that the King of Coins we come in with here, He, your finances are, are good. Okay, they're, they're fine right now. But what he's really showing up here for is he really knows the value of um, first and foremost, he, he has the ability to confront and direct um, the needs that, that the things that he, he knows what he needs to, to get where he's going. Point being, he needs his health. Okay. I think that you're, someone is really taxing themselves. They're just about to go down for the count if they don't uh, start to pace themselves a little bit. Okay. Patience, willpower. Okay. Um, understanding how the world works. We need our health, our health, our, our bodies, are our vehicles, right? Um, when they go down for the count and if we don't heed the warning, we all know what happens, right? So um, that's why I pulled the seven of coins too, to really just show you that it's it's really this whole reading is airing on the side of just slowing down. You know, that little tickle in your throat or the congestion or whatever um, may be the onset of you just exhausting yourself, okay? Um, the hermit card here comes in, all right, again, he speaks of taking a time out, taking a little bit of downtime. The nine of swords also is a card of... Um, you know, get, getting sick, being ill. And the Hermit card, too, is Virgo. That rules the sixth house, okay? That's health, sickness, day-to-day -day activities, you know? So we really kind of want to slow down just a tad bit here, all right? Because on the outbound here, we have the Knight of Wands, okay? His, uh, you know, undertaking is, is, is just that, you know, zero to 60 g4 speed here okay but but what we really want to bring out in him is he does much better um to realize sooner than later in life sometimes we don't though okay that rather trying to dominate and control things situations make them go we all know that virgo is the uh everything has to be pristine right it's it's everything gets gets lost in the detail to the point where it, it's exhausting and i think that Whatever you're working on, um, you may just be overtaxing yourself, okay? Archangel Metatron comes in here, and what he really stands for is um, clarity of thought, uh, personal vision, okay? I, I think you're either doing too much on your day-to-day -day or you're trying to push too far too fast, okay? The whole reading speaks of patience, um, getting clear on your thoughts, taking a little bit of downtime, but most importantly, I think, being patient, um, going slower. Slow your pace down just a little bit, okay? Um, recognize, to your limitations, okay? That, again, is Virgo's issue, too. They, they don't want to, everything has to be perfect. There's no, it's our perfectly imperfect challenge, right? So I think that that's what we're up against today, okay? Archangel Metatron, too, is just saying, you know, if you go at a slower pace, you can kind of see, you know, the view opposed to going at G-force speed and everything becomes a blur. And then we go down for the count anyway. And if we don't slow down, we know what happens, right? So um, I think that that's what today's reading is really trying to drive home, that, you know, if, if on one hand you're having a hard time getting clarity of thought, slow things down a little bit, okay? Get the lists out, um go a little bit slower, go day to day, okay? If you're having trouble seeing a long-term vision, uh, be very present in the day and do that for about five days, right? That really gets us propelled forward. That's when we see we can get the, the clear vision for the future, right? When we, that's just a little, a little trick. You know, if you 
can't really see a year down the road, do a day to day for a week or so, and you'll you'll get your clarity of thought. It's just honing your perspective is all. And I think what you're doing is you're exhausting yourself. Okay, so um, that's what this reading is about. You need your health to have clarity of thought. If you're not sleeping too, that falls under the umbrella of health, right? We need that. Or otherwise, forget it. There's not, you're not going to know your name by, by midday. So slow down. Um, keep doing what you're doing just at a slower pace, okay? Again, this is, this is I don't see anything. Um, I really think that for the majority of us, you know, given that that's what the energy card is and that's what the Seven of Coins is, came in with as the following card to our energy, you know, and the king of coins too is, is, you know, he knows what he wants to do. He just knows that, you know, he needs his health to be able to do it. Right. So let's just slow down, realize that life is not perfect. The beauty is in the imperfect moments. So if you've got a plan in place and, and you're, you know, trying to critique a masterpiece that's done, let it go, enjoy it and move on to something else just at a slower pace okay so I think that that's what today is about again I'm thrilled to um, to not have any real real excitement everything looks like it's on on target just slow down a little bit so you don't get sick okay um, I think that that's about it honestly I don't see anything um, outstanding here if you're tied up to trying to get your plan in place just pull on things from the past as to what worked what didn't work you know things like that that's also what the hermit can mean too but I think the majority of this reading just how it's flowing is it's just and as I was throwing it to all I could hear is oh somebody's gonna get sick here and you know all the cards align to that so let's just watch our health slow down there is no hurry you know, we'll get where we're going, so take care of your health, because honestly, without that, and again, I know I'm preaching to the choir, because you're all so brilliant, um, without our health, we really have nothing, right, so, so let's take care of that, okay, thank you, and have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon.